Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I feel like I've been putting this off for so long because, and I've said this before, like once you kind of take a break from filming, not on purpose, but once you kind of like haven't filmed a video in a while, at least for me, it's like, weirdly hard to get motivated to do it again even though there's so many videos I want to put out for you I think I just get overwhelmed and so I just start pushing things off which is really mature by the way so I can already tell you right now this video is going to be really long so I don't even feel like I need to apologize for it I hope you guys enjoy um, this is obviously going to be my March favorites I didn't do a February favorites which I'm so disappointed in myself but it just get, kept getting pushed back, like I said, and then it was like embarrassing to put up a February favorite. So I have collected here everything that I have really loved. I mean, there's a lot more that I probably could mention, but these are like, wow, standout products. And I cannot wait to share them with you. And hopefully I can get this video up pretty quick for you guys. Um, and then I can start rolling out other videos, but I felt like I absolutely had to film this one first and edit it and get it up for you first because if I wait any longer, I'll probably kill myself. So in no particular order, I want to talk about this Blissful Body um, Hand and Body Lotion. This is was made popular by Jaclyn Hill. So if you watch her videos, you've definitely seen this before. And I'm like a total follower because pretty much everything that she mentions, I'm like, hey, I guess I'm buying it. This is um, a hand and body lotion. This is in the scent Lemon Buttercream. This is from a woman who hand makes these products. She has the lotions and body butters, which I also have the body butter, but I haven't really used it yet. Um, and they're all natural ingredients organic ingredients and it's just really good lotion. I'll put the link to her shop on Etsy down below. It's just a very nice, good lotion. I love applying it because it smells so good. There's so many different scents to choose from on her little Etsy shop. And it's such a nice thing to support, you know, um, I almost said local, but a small business. You know, this is a person who does it by herself. And she also um, sends some of the proceeds to women's organizations. So I don't know a lot about it. As you can see, I'm kind of like stumbling over my words. But basically, I really like this lotion. It's super hydrating. It smells really good. It's all organic ingredients, which I like because things are going to soak into your skin. So it's nice for it to be organic stuff. And I just have been using this every single day and I really like it. The next thing I've kind of talked about before, but this is a new bottle. This is my favorite dry shampoo and my hair gets pretty oily. So I pretty much spray this in my hair on a daily basis. This is um, from Salon Graphics. It's called Play It Big Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And this is in the clear um, color. And this actually says with keratin protein complex. So basically it's a dry shampoo. We all know what it is, but it is volumizing. And this is under $10, maybe even definitely under 10. I think it's maybe like $6 or something. I find mine at Ulta but you can also find it at Target, it's Salon Graphics. So I just think this is so amazing. Is it completely clear with no white cast? No, but I leave it on, even if there's a white cast, I leave it on the roots of my hair and then a few minutes later, I just kind of like scrunch it into my hair and it's gone. It's not like super hard to like work it into your hair. I personally just think this is the best try shampoo I've ever tried. And um, like I mentioned, like I said, I've mentioned this before. So I think that that, is a definite standout product. This is something I've had for a while actually and if you have been watching my videos for a long time you may even remember this product from a couple years ago. This is from the brand Sleek Makeup which I believe is a UK brand. This is in the shade Light and this is a face contour kit. So as some of you may know there are so many contour kits out right now and I haven't bought any of them because I'm like weird because I don't want to buy a contour kit that is going to be, oh, I'm going to use three out of the eight shades here. You know what I mean? I feel like it's kind of a waste of money, even though I love makeup and I collect makeup kind of. I just feel like it's hard for me to put out $50 on a palette where I'm only going to use three of the eight shades. You know what I'm saying? So I really think that this is a fantastic, less expensive version. So here is obviously the contour and this is the really pretty highlight. I think this is really good quality for the price. 
Um, like I said, it's really inexpensive. This is a shimmery highlight, so this is not something that you're going to want to set your under eye concealer with or anything, but it's perfect. It's so compact. I just, I really like it and I wanted to mention it to you guys um, if you're like me and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on you know, a lot of product you're not going to use. Okay, another contouring product, and I feel like I'm crazy because I just got done saying I don't want to spend $50, but this is from Marc Jacobs, and this is a contouring, um, it's called Instamark, what is this even called? Light filtering contour powder, but, so this is expensive, but it only has two shades, and these are the shades that I'm going to use constantly. So again, I'd rather spend my money on something that is like super good quality with stuff I'm going to use rather than have products sitting in the palette that I'm never going to touch. So that's my excuse. Beautiful. This is my first thing from Marc Jacobs, which is really exciting. Very much like a luxury brand to me. And this has a beautiful contouring shade and a really nice yellow matte shade that I love for setting underneath my eyes for setting my concealer. I'll swatch these both for you. Um, the powders are literally the most wonderful powders I've ever felt in my life. They are so high quality. I mean, literally, it's worth every penny. I have never felt powder like this. I never thought powder could feel so smooth and creamy. It is really, really nice. One thing that I do want to mention is so here's the yellow. The contour shade on my hand, this is in my opinion, I feel like it's not, it doesn't show up that much. Like it's very light. And when I was swatching it in the store, I was very concerned because I was like, okay, I really like that banana shade, but banana, that yellow shade, but I'm not going to spend this money on this palette if I don't love the contour. So I literally asked the girl at Sephora, one somebody working there, if I could borrow her brush and I could try the contour on. And I did, and it showed up perfectly on my face. I don't know why it doesn't swatch as like, I don't want to say pigmented because it is pigmented, but it doesn't swatch as nicely as it looks on your face. And so I just want to point that out if, in case any of you are like me and swatched it and are like, eh, nah, never mind. But I really, really like this and so nice to have my first Marc Jacobs product. Okay, this past couple months, I have gotten really into highlights like I liked highlights and I have a couple I really don't have that many but I have a few that's like yeah you know like on a special occasion or when I'm really taking a long time on my makeup like longer than normal which is already long I'll like okay like put a little highlight like on my cheekbones and stuff but now it's like an everyday thing even if I'm doing barely any makeup like light makeup I just feel like a highlight adds so much to your skin and if you're putting it in the right spots I just think it is so so beautiful so I just want to mention two of my favorite highlights I haven't like bought any new ones or anything like that but two of just my single highlights that I have one is Mac soft and gentle and the other is Becca um, shimmering skin perfector in opal this is opal this is um, Max soft and gentle so this is the becca one this is the mac one they're very similar as you can see they're kind of champagne-y but this one is a little bit more golden and this one is a little bit more like a white golden shade so do you need both of them probably not but these are two of the most popular highlights i think that are on the market um I know the Becca one was sold out for so long, like I could not get it, and then finally I did, and I'm so happy. They're so high quality and beautiful. Like if you're just getting into highlights, I would buy one of them and just play around. I love putting it on my cheekbones. I have soft and gentle on today, and you can just see it's such like a, it's not an obvious product, which I usually love like in your face products. And they're so like, oh wait, when you turn your face, you see this like beautiful glow. And I just, I have been loving it so much. And then I put a little bit like on the bridge of my nose. I don't go too crazy because I feel like it can accentuate some of your large pores or acne or things like that. So I'm very strategic with how I place it, but I just, I love it so much. And if you haven't like tried highlights or anything, I would definitely recommend them. Okay, a blush that I freaking love. I'm so happy I got this. 
Um, do you ever go into MAC and you're like, okay, I kind of want to look at blush. Blush is one of my favorite things, obviously, like not shy about my blush. Um, do you ever go into MAC and you're looking at the blush and they all look like kind of the same, kind of boring, like if you like matte blush, that is. Some of the shimmery ones are like, ooh, like they really stand out, but the matte ones, to me, it's so hard to pick one because it's like, they all look kind of boring, to be honest, but once you swatch them and once you put them on your face, it's like, wow, look at this blush right here. It's like, I don't know. So anyways, I went into MAC and I found this blush called Pinch Me and it is freaking stunning and I just have fallen so hard in love with this blush and again like swatching it it does it does you know say okay wow that's a really pretty blush but even at first I felt like I was like isn't it really that great it is really that great so if you're doing that in the store take my recommendation at least on this one it's a really really beautiful peachy rose tone blush and I think this is beautiful for all year round. It is absolutely gorgeous and of course it's MAC so it's really high quality. I love this. Okay speaking of blush, obviously I just said it's like my favorite thing ever. So probably one of my favorite makeup things to buy. I have to tell you about this palette that I got from Nordstrom and I'll put a link to it down below. I seriously hope to Jesus that this is still available because it is a Nordstrom exclusive. This is Smashbox Crush on Blush Palette. Oh my God, I cannot stop using this. This is so wonderful. I rarely buy Smashbox stuff, by the way. So I'm like super impressed by this. First of all, really nice quality palette, magnetic closure, beautiful, nice quality mirror, big mirror. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I die for this. So you have a highlighter, which I cannot stop using. Like I said, like literally, I love this highlighter. It is so gorgeous. A bronzer, and then you have four blushes. Two of which, actually, you know what? Really like three that are matte. These three are matte, and then one that has slight shimmer. So I'm actually not going to swatch these for you. I'll just swatch the highlight because I do want to do a whole video. Oh my God, so pigmented and beautiful. Look at that. Um, I do want to do a whole like review video just where I do like the swatches and tell you the names of them and stuff like that. But I just had to mention it in case it is like going out of stock or something. This is the most wonderful palette ever. I have never bought a blush palette. Like I know a lot of brands sometimes come out with them for the holidays. And I'm so happy I found this. I love it to death. You really, really, really have to get your hands on this. Okay, this is kind of highlighty product too. My new absolute hands down, no competition, favorite highlighter for my inner corner and sometimes my brow bone, but really my inner corner that I've been using every single day, I am obsessed, is Nylon from MAC. This is a very famous shade, but a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people describe it as like, it's really intense. And I'm like, okay, give me that. Um, but them saying it's intense kind of like can scare people away. I want the inner corner of my eyes to be super bright with almost every single eye look I do. So I don't know why I did not pick this up sooner. Look at this. Oh my God. Super, super creamy, super pigmented. It is stunning. A lot of people talk about loving the shade Shroom for MAC as a highlight. That does not show up enough for me. It's really like you have to pack it on for you to really see like, you know, the brightness of it. This, you use a normal amount as you would any other eyeshadow and it looks absolutely stunning. Like I can picture hitting pan on this color within the next few months or the next year because I just use it every single day. I really, really love it. Okay, another eyeshadow that I love, and I've only used it one or two times because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a really unique shadow, and it's not usually something that I'm going to wear to work every single day, although I definitely would. This is from Urban Decay, and this is one of their, um, what are these called? I actually don't know what this is called, but it's Urban Decay. It's one of their newer shadows, and this is in the shade Solstice. Wow, you guys, I can't even tell you how gorgeous this is. This is so beautiful. It is 
very similar. Okay, not even very. It's similar uh, to Max Blue Brown Pigment, as in you can see that duochrome chrome, chrome there. But it's instead of being brown and blue, it's like magenta and blue. And I could seriously swatch and stare at this all day long. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm trying to give you guys the full effect. It is stunning. Like literally, I absolutely love the shadow. It is worth every penny. Urban Decay individual shadows are not cheap and if you're going to buy something that's like a standout worth you know the extra money type of thing this is definitely something that you should look at. It is beautiful. Okay a lip color that I feel like everybody's talking about now. I felt so special when I got this back in February because I hadn't heard anybody talk about it and I was like I discovered a new liquid lipstick but now of course it's like really popular. Um, and I didn't get to tell you guys about it, so I take no credit. Um, this is from Stila. It's a liquid lipstick in the shade Patina. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It stays on your lips all day long through eating and drinking everything. It is just so, so pretty. It's kind of like a mauve neutral pink. And it's perfect for every day. It's not too dark and intense like Lolita from Kat Von D is. Um, it definitely is a little more wearable and that's why I love it, but it is, it's just wonderful. I wish Stila had more colors from this line because all the colors are like really bright after this one, except for the one nude, which I don't really like, but I just wish they had like tons of colors because I really do love this formula and I love Tina. Okay, one more makeup thing and then I have a few like skincare and other favorites. Um... Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. So I am on like a new acne regimen kind of. Like I went to the dermatologist because my skin has been <clears throat> not the best thing in the world. So I went to the dermatologist and she gave me this retinol cream. And retinol is, actually, is definitely going to like obviously dry up your skin kind of. It's basically like um, helps your skin cells like renew faster and so at least at the beginning of using it it does dry out your skin so I've been pulling out this Laura Mercier foundation um, this is in the shade what is it hazelnut beige and I've just been pulling this out because it is my most moisturizing foundation without it being like dewy um, a lot of times, like I used to love this, but then when I don't have any dry skin at all, it's a little bit too moisturizing, as in I feel like it creases like around my smile lines, and it still does, but not nearly as much. I've just been really liking this. It has a beautiful coverage, and especially, like I said, with a little bit drier skin, I've really been appreciating this because some of my like super matte foundations have been like caking up on dry areas. So I've been using this a lot more almost every single day this past month and I've been loving it. Okay, this is a lash container that I bought from ladymossbeauty.com, which is where I buy almost all of my lashes. Um, if you don't know, I love the Coco Lashes in number 201. They're what I'm wearing today. They're very natural without looking like, are you even wearing lashes? Like they're perfect in the middle. Um, of dramatic and natural lashes. I really really like them and so I got this container. It holds all of your fake lashes <clears throat> So this is perfect because I lose my lashes all the time Like I'll just set them on the nightstand and next thing I know they're gone forever and I never find them um, But I wanted to mention this case because I do love it and I wanted to mention one <laughs> set of lashes literally lost one of them so what do you know um i wanted to mention this set of lashes from oh my god okay i think the site is called miss glam beauty i follow her on instagram and the lash is called seduced glam so i'm gonna zoom in i know i have like other lashes here this is a mink set of lashes obviously sorry i only have one to show you but it's worth it this is a stunning pair of lashes and some of the best mink lashes I've ever tried. I haven't tried that many yet. I've tried Velour, I've tried Blinking Butte, um, and I have a pair of Mosquito lashes that I haven't worn yet so I can't speak on them. 
but this pair was first of all some of the most inexpensive mink lashes I've seen I think it was maybe $22 whereas like mosquito lashes are like 35 velour is like 30 so for $22 I was really impressed with the quality of these lashes I didn't get 25 wears out of them um, I probably got 10 which is still like if you divide that by the 22 it's still super inexpensive and they are absolutely stunning if I had a billion dollars I would forget any other lash I had and just stock up on these lashes they are so wonderful they are so beautiful they're very similar to the 201 lashes from Coco lashes in the fact that they are dramatic enough but not crazy like why are you wearing fake lashes every day but they're not like so understated to where you can't tell and the, they're mink lashes so of course they're very fluffy and soft and fluttery and i just if i could wear them every day i definitely would I wanted to shout them out. I've never heard anybody talk about their brand before, and I will put a link to them down below. They're beautiful. Okay, so a couple other hair products. Um, hi, Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. Have you guys tried this? Are you freaking kidding me? I fell in love with this product immediately. I bought the dry texturizing spray, which I do like, but I got, when I bought it from Ulta, I got like a small size, and I was like, oh, cool, I kind of wanted to try this anyway. So I try, you know, tried it on my wet hair, which is, it's a heat protectant. Um, and what else does this do? So it's a dry spray, reduces blow dry time up to 50%, which it definitely does, by the way, amazing. Provides intense heat protection from damage and breakage. And it also detangles, yes, smooths, yes, and softens while eliminating frizz. Okay. This literally does all of those things. It is a pricey product, but it does all of those things. I have never felt my hair feel more soft and smooth and shiny. And it's just, it's wonderful product. Like I seriously couldn't wait to share this with you guys. It is such a good, 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 good product. I would go to Ulta, I'm not sure if Kenra is sold at Sephora, I would go to Ulta and I would buy like the smaller bottle, it's under $15, I think it may even be like, I think it's $10 or $11, buy that, try it, you're going to love it, and then you'll be like me and you'll run out immediately and buy the full size. Um, what else did I want to say about this? Oh, the smell is so great, like that's one thing I love about high-end products, for hair is so many of them smell so good that often you can't find with drugstore products so that's just like a nice treat it's very coconutty which I really like it reminds me of summer and it's just it's really pleasant to spray on your hair and I also do want to mention that I've had other thermal protectant sprays and to be honest because I didn't notice an instant you know um, change in my hair I didn't notice like wow look at my hair not breaking it was kind of one of those products that I was like eh, I don't really feel like using I don't notice a difference there's no instant gratification this I'm so glad it gives me the other added benefits like shiny smooth soft hair because now I'm protecting my hair on a daily basis because you know I get that instant gratification of all those things including the wonderful smell whereas like I said, I kind of would skip out on the thermal protectant spray. It just didn't do enough for me to where I wanted to reach for it. The last hair product is this L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. And basically this is like an intense conditioner. And I use this every time I wash my hair just on the ends of my hair, probably from here down. I haven't used this as like a hair mask, although I think that's what this is technically marketed for. I just use it as a daily conditioner and it smells really nice. My ends are very soft and I really, really do like using this a lot versus other normal conditioners that I've had in the past. And again, it's L'Oreal, so you can get it at the drugstore and it's very inexpensive. Okay, a face product that I have definitely wanted to mention for so many months now and I just forget. Like honestly, almost after every favorites video, I'm like, wow, why didn't I mention that? This is the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. 
This is another thing where I feel like companies are so, so smart because I got a small, tiny sample of this when I bought the Amazonian Clay Foundation and I tried it out and I fell in love and here I am buying the $50 bottle or whatever. Um, again, I mentioned that my skin has been a little bit dry and when I put on the retinol cream at night, I really want to make sure that it's not like over drying my skin. So often on top of the retinol cream, I will put some of this. So if you don't know, this is an oil. It has a dropper like this. Um, obviously it's an oil. It is super hydrating. My skin when I wake up is so happy with me. Like it's like, thank you. I've been wanting this hydration for so long. Why weren't you listening? Um, it's just really nice. It is expensive for the full size bottle, but you use so little of it and it covers such a like large area with just a few drops that this is something that you're going to have for a really long time. And I am a big advocate of taking time on your skin. I know personally, I would rather spend money on my skin than my makeup because obviously like if you have great makeup and horrible skin, it's not gonna matter, in my opinion. So I definitely recommend this. I love it so much. Okay, oh my God, I have like a couple more things. So glasses, I have horrible eyesight. I wear contacts on a daily basis, but I wanted some new glasses because I was tired of being like, wow, I don't wanna wear my glasses out in public because I look so hideous. So I went to warbyparker.com and I ordered some glasses from there. If you haven't heard of Warby Parker, basically you can try on their glasses even though it's an online brand. So basically they you can select up to five pairs of glasses, just the frames obviously. They send them to you for free. You try them on, you decide what you like, you send them back within, I think, five days. They don't charge you. If you hated them, you don't have to buy them and there is no cost to you. If you love one, which you probably will, um, you can place that order. And the other great thing is they're very inexpensive. I recently went to the eye doctor at the beginning of the year and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy glasses from the eye doctor. I don't wanna deal with shopping online. And I was looking at prices and for, Everything while it's all said and done, it was going to be like $350. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't wear glasses often enough. So I went to Warby Parker and I got these pair, this pair of glasses. Once it was all said and done with the thinner lenses and everything, it was $125. So wow, what a difference. These are the ones I got and obviously like I can't even see you because I have contacts in but I really really like them they're really cute I think they're a little bit like hipsterish which I kind of like and this is in the shade Finch I forget what these are called now maybe the type is Finch but this is what they look like and I will link them down below for you um, if you're liking these and if you have like a similar face shape, maybe you just wanna order these, but I'm so happy with them. I wear them out all the time now and I feel actually cute. I don't feel like, ew, who's that girl in her glasses? So I just wanted to mention them. I really, really love them. Okay, two clothing items that I seriously never mention clothing and I need to because sometimes I buy stuff and I'm like, wow, like this is so great. I really need to tell people about it and then I never do. And these, I need to mention, are both items that I literally got out of my hamper. Like I need to wash them. So if they look a little like wrinkled, that's because they need washed. So, okay, let me give like a clarifying story. I'm gonna be 27 years old in June and the last place on earth that I would think, hey, let me shop for clothes is American Eagle Outfitters like that was great when I was in high school and even a little bit in college but now I'm like I'm 27 I need to branch out but I went back to American Eagle because I really wanted some shorts and plain t-shirts for the summer I don't want anything that says American Eagle like across the shirt but I just wanted comfortable easy basic clothes like those are my favorite things to wear just shorts and like a plain t-shirt freaking love so this is one of the t-shirts that i wanted to mention it's just an army green shirt this is their soft and sexy v-neck tee i guess it's kind of big this is 
the softest shirt I have ever felt in my life. I wish so bad they had like 17 different colors. They have this army green, which I freaking love. They have a black, they have like a really light pink and they have a white in the same really soft, high quality material. And I think this one and maybe the white one was the only one that I got. Maybe the pink one too, because I already have a lot of black shirts. But I freaking love this and paired with like a gold necklace and shorts and cute sandals. I mean, this to me is like my ideal outfit. I will probably wear this like every other day, like, you know, during the summer. I really, really like it. And I don't think that it looks like, are you in high school? Like, nice try, American Eagle. I think it looks like a normal adult shirt so i really really love it like i was telling my sisters about it too i really really like it so hopefully that gives you guys an idea and the other thing is this pair of shorts from american eagle so again i'm gonna be 27 i want cute short shorts but i don't want them to be way too short and i don't want them to be like nice mom shorts you know what i mean so i really like distressed stuff so i found this pair from obviously American Eagle and they look like this so they have like holes and they're kind of like frayed and I just think they're really really cute these are called their midi shorts I think they're definitely called their midi shorts and M-I-D-I and if you look them up on the website I mean obviously I'll link them down below they have other pairs that aren't distressed this was the only distressed pair that I felt like looked good, but the midi shorts um, are really, really nice for that exact thing that I was talking about. Not too short, but you're still wearing short shorts. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna look like a mom, but I'm not gonna look like, wow, you know, I cannot even tell like you're wearing shorts right now, they're so short. So anyways, I absolutely love those. And American Eagle is not too expensive, I think, this pair of shorts was maybe like maybe $40 and they have buy one get one half off all the time. I also bought a pair of white ones that like cuffs at the bottom. I just, I really, really like them and I recently bought some more because of that. So I wanted to mention them to you as well. Okay guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was super long and rambly and I feel like I wasn't like super clear on anything that I said and now I'm getting really self-conscious about it. But I really hope you made it to the end and you enjoyed it, found a few products that you might like to try out in the future. I promise I'm going to do some more videos. Once I get this one up, I'll feel so much better about my life and my existence. And I appreciate your guys' patience. I really appreciate all the subscribers. Like, I'm so happy I hit 2,000 subscribers. And I can't wait for my channel to just grow more and more. Um, if you do like my videos, please do subscribe and you can keep up with all of my future videos. I also have listed down below my Instagram, which is my most used social media. For some reason I can't get into Twitter, like I just don't understand. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you so much again and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.